Wow. We have another one to pick. We will leave it there. We've got Thursday Night Football, gentlemen. Mark, always great to see you here. This is an outrage. Featuring the Dolphins and the Bengals. You spend some time in Miami as you star on the show Ballers. Yes. <laughs> the Bengals are struggling this season at just one and two so far, with their only win coming in week one over the Jets, a one-point victory. Cincinnati head coach Marvin Lewis coming under a little scrutiny over the past few seasons because he struggled a little bit uh, there, as we know, getting into the first round of the playoffs each of the last five seasons, not making it further. Mark, I want to start with you. If the Bengals lose tonight, could this affect the future of Marvin Lewis in Cincy? Well, I mean, I always think you're, you always coach it for your job, and obviously they've had a great run there, um, albeit not being able to get it out of the playoffs. But, yeah, I, I think certainly as you start compiling – kind of the body of work and it's been very good but again it's winning the big games it's winning the big moments it's winning in the playoffs last week they had a huge game against the defending world champions at home as they opened up their home opener and they can't get that done so Thursday night primetime game against the Miami Dolphins a team at home that you should mm -hmm. be able to beat yeah, I think if you don't win this game, yeah. at least, the very least, the rumblings will start. You'll start hearing all those people talking, is Marvin Lewis the right guy? I think he is, but still, the proof is in the pudding. You've got to win mm -hmm. these games. Right he there. hasn't been able to do Stop it. Start right there. Mark Schlereth, I need you to explain to me why do you think Marvin Lewis is the right guy for the job when he has been on the job for 12 complete seasons <clears throat> and has not won one single playoff game. Yeah. I need an explanation. Well, I mean, I think their teams have, have competed well. I think they've played well up until those playoff games. It comes down to he hasn't been able to get his team to play at the level they need to play at in those games. So? So, you know what? I mean, if you want to... Ain't that what a head coach is supposed to do? Yeah, that is what a head coach is supposed to do. You're 100% right. And that's why that's why the talk will start. That's why the scrutiny will start. Um, I don't think there's any question that he will be scrutinized. He'll be looked at. And if it doesn't happen again this year, um, but we've been waiting for six, seven years. So they seem to be like they seem to be in Cincinnati to be OK with that. Look, I, I, maybe that's I hate the goal. to say, I hate to say it, but I think it does fall on Marvin Lewis. And I think it will affect his future tonight. First, let me say um, you know, you got a guy like Schottenheimer, and in every era, you, you, you seem to have a head coach like, oh, they just don't do well in the playoffs. But with Schottenheimer, I never got the feeling that he was a bad coach in the playoffs or his teams weren't prepared. I thought he got unlucky a lot of the time. You know, it's like a coin flip, some That's close fair. games. So, at, but I don't get that feeling with Marvin Lewis, I have to admit. I feel like the team is fundamentally different once they enter the playoffs and during the regular season. I was really interested in seeing them play in the playoffs last year because I felt like Andy Dalton in particular had turned a corner, not only playing at a very high level, maybe the highest level he ever played on, in the regular mm -hmm. season, but I started noticing primetime games, even if it was a Thursday night game, he would tick up instead of down. Fourth quarters, he would tick up instead of down. What is this going to look like in the play? And then he gets hurt. It may not, it just may not be like meant to be with Marvin Lewis in Cincinnati. And I think if you lose to a team you're supposed to win against at home to go one and three, in a division where, I mean, you just might not make the playoffs, period. Right. That would be the excuse that they need to move on from Marvin Lewis. Look, this now, they didn't even make the playoffs. We're going in the wrong direction. And at that point, you have the moment you need to say, okay, the peg you need to say, okay, time for a change yeah, at the, the head coach. The, the history would say in the playoffs, in the big kind of primetime games, that's where there has been a lack of production with a Marvin Lewis coached football team in Cincinnati. Um, and, and again, I could make a compelling argument over the last few years. Now, they lost a lot of guys to free agency. They've, they've lost some guys along the way. But over the last few years, I would make a very compelling argument that they're the most talented team in football, both offensively and defensively. And you still can't find a way to get it, to get it done. Now, last year, obviously, you lose your quarterback. That makes it very tough on you. But I have to see them perform in prime time and have one of those dominant performances and if, if this happens again, or if, like, like you said, they don't go to the playoffs, yeah, I think the, the writing is on well, the wall. Let me say this. I think Cincinnati should win this game tonight. Uh, they're at home. You got Jeremy Hill to run the football. 
This is the 31st ranked team against the run, the Miami Dolphins. You can run on them. They're giving up over 4.5 yards a carry or something like that. I mean, it's just embarrassing right now what their run defense looks like. And Dominican Sue looked awful in the first three games last year. This year, he's considerably better in terms of putting his hands on the quarterback tackles, et cetera, et cetera. But I have some serious questions about this offense. Do you know their leading rusher on the Miami Dolphins has 54 yards rushing? Mm. You know who that leader rush is? Ryan Tannehill. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You right. really got to be kidding me. I'm like, who's their leading passer? Okay, well, well <laughs> it might not be Tannehill. <laughs> oh, you're wrong for that. Supposedly, it's him. He's got four laughing. interceptions already. Um, he's been sacked six times in three games. Not awful, but you got to protect him a little bit more. But I'm looking at a pass game. You got Jarvis Landry. You got Devontae Parker. You got Kenny Stills. I mean, these guys can catch the football for you. You can't run and you can't defend the run and if you can't, can't do defend those the pass two, either you can't, if you can't do those two things if you can't do those two things then you should not be able to beat Cincinnati on the road Cincinnati loses tonight's game it's not going to make much of a difference to me because I think Marvin Lewis has been in the playoffs five consecutive years I think that it, it could potentially be in jeopardy but I have had a hard time figuring out why he has kept his job this long because progress is what life is supposed to be all about. And that has not been the case with the Marvin Lewis era in recent memory. And I think he's been given too many passes and he should have been ripped. I'm not saying he can't coach. I'm saying he don't need to coach there. At some point in time, you've been in one destination for but so long and you continue to disappoint year after year after year. The time for change has arrived. Uh, A.J. Green has a big game tonight. Mm, you're calling that? Yep. Okay. Hey, if you ever want to do Is that a... kind of like Philadelphia can't <laughs> shut down the offense? <laughs> oh, you got him. <laughs> Touche, <laughs> Mark Schlereth. Oh, I'm just asking. Hey, Mark, if you yeah. ever want to do an eliminator challenge next year, just let me know because okay. I'd like some real competition. Oh, that, Maybe we could that'd keep be, going. That'd be great. We could Thanks. probably p play beyond three weeks. Yeah, I'd yeah, love it. So just, she sits so up just, there and she so smiles and she listens to right. us and it goes like this. Well, I'm going to go the other way. Luck's up, right, and now she's Look, a prophet. The worst part for me is also like, me or another here. bad part, they're all <laughs> worst parts. We had the same picks the first two weeks and the first time we deviated. And you fell off. Stick with me. Crushed. I'm good karma kid. Yeah. Coming up next on the show, Mark, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. with us. We're going to talk who has the bigger weekend in college football, Jackson or Watson. Twitter results are in. We'll break it down next. He spoiled the Red Sox mm. clinching last night. All right, stay focused, people. We asked you all at spoiled. home to vote on Twitter. Who will have the better game this Saturday? Deshaun Watson, who Stephen A. went with, or Lamar Jackson, who Max Kellerman went with? Here are the results. 76% stay Jackson. Well, they're looking at, you know, they have eyeballs. They're watching the games. And Lamar Jackson is completely unstoppable so far in spite of playing Florida State. And he's hanging 60 points plus just about 59 points, the lowest total this last week you love on this every single team. I mean, it is what it is, 25 two touchdowns. Reasons, two reasons for this. Number one, they are going by the eyeball test. He'll always win that. We understand that. But then you also have the thing with Lamar <laughs> Jackson. You know, you always, you always got to think it was a good not, feature. Not yeah. just though it is. But then you got Lamar Jackson. Maybe but then blues. you also have the fact that Deshaun Watson really has not come out and lived up to expectations. Yeah. But our audience isn't used to prophesizing. They leave that to me. That's what I'm going to do for them in this weekend. Oh, he's such a little sweetheart. I can't wait for this game. We'll be discussing it on Monday, reacting. Please stay tuned, mm. folks. Remember, well, you agreed with me, but go ahead. Best agree athletic with you event, orange. best sporting event he of the weekend. He came on the show. I'm a fan. Louisville yeah. and Clemson. You okay. know what? You know Mama Watson loves me. We do. I was Mama just going to mention Mama that. Watson. What's going on? How you doing? How <laughs> you Anything? Doing? Mama Jackson? Anything? No. Mm. No? no? She uh. doesn't know you yet. You're getting there. All right. <laughs> Ms. Jackson, nasty. All right, check this video. Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson showing off at practice yesterday. Anthony Slater, the Bay Area News Group, took a video of the two sharpshooters, and they didn't miss a shot for 75 seconds until finally Katie snapped the streak at the very end. Ridiculous. Let me tell you the most, the most illmatic thing about this oh, whole situation, Molly, Stephen A. Yeah. Here it is. Those aren't the two best shooters on the team. Right. The best shooter on True the team story. isn't even participating mm. in that. And for over a minute, is both guys hitting every shot. That's the that, second and that, third best that. shooter on the team. You see why I'm disgusted? I know. You see why I'm disgusted? I know, because you're sad just, for just, the season. Just, just, ruin, ruin it. just ruin November through through April. Root that's what I'm saying. Root the UConn Huskies. So pay attention to college. No, I'm just, so I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. The second best player on the you planet never know what joins the 73. So if the Knicks are playing the Bulls, you watching? No. 
You're not watching the I'm Knicks. Watching the are games. you interested in the games? Yeah. Yeah. Second consolation. Prize. If the Clippers are playing the Thunder, prizes. are you interested in that game? You care prizes, about second you know? and third. That's what I'm saying. Prize. I gotta yeah. care about second and third. They might get a ribbon now. or something that's for what I gotta participation. Do. That's ribbon. what I do. San Antonio and Cleveland are hooking up. You want to see that? Somebody would be interested enough. And by the way, y'all don't have to travel for the games. I I gotta go watch these matches. You like traveling. You love basketball. I gotta go watch these matches. You love watching it. Man, please. Don't get me started. I'll be leaving this. a lot of games early, catching red eyes. I'm telling you that <laughs> this right is now. Your passion. You're, you're, you're going to get heart. to see one of the greatest teams ever assembled in gonna, action. Here's the you don't want to look at here's that? Here's the difference. What? Max is going to be at the Oracle like this. <laughs> and I'm going to be like this. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, That's right. That's like right. I'll be in some games. Game. But listen, listen. There's no other I, And I pay my own no, way to these games see sometimes. My man, yeah, Ritter. I get to see all the staff at the Oracle. I love all of those okay. folks that work for the Warriors in that arena. They're great people. That's about it. No, one. we have a minute left. Seriously, there's no other teams you're excited about? Come on. No, you're I'm excited about basketball. various. No, I'm excited about. I love the game of basketball. Yeah. And I'm excited about watching a whole bunch of teams. Mm -hmm. Minnesota's going to take a step I'm forward. I'm just talking about when it Knicks. goes They've against Golden State. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm you didn't like about. Mike Tyson in his prime? Boxing's different. I, if you see, you didn't like Boxing's the greatest different. show on turf listen, when they listen, were tearing up the league. You don't waste time. But like, for example, I love watching horse racing. I love to watch the two minutes. I don't want to see all the pregame festivities leaving up, pre stuff for festivities Have leading up to it. Horse? I like watching the 98 Yankees. I love watching dominance. You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make to you is that, look, it's a, I, I, horse racing, the, the, you know, the, the, the basketball, boxing, yes. But basketball is 82 <laughs> games. 82 games, 48 minutes. Mike Tyson went in there and knocked you out in 91 seconds this, I can live with that this, this is amazing because no. in the end we know what we're getting we're getting Cleveland and Golden State in a rubber yeah. match and I'm just this saying is one, of, one of the all-time great seasons we're about to see but this time I'll take your money right, but man. I can't because this is my profession you're well, crying you're oh laughing my gosh, so hard you're crying it's <laughs> 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 you, yes you yes I mean what we're going to say it hurt it hurt it hurt it really did